All right, so I've dredged out the bottom area here, and the problem I might still have are those guys. Squiddies are probably gonna get in my way, and honestly, I'm not entirely sure what to do with this. Because if I put those minecarts on there, it's going to get a little mess messed up. Do I hear an Enderman? I swear, I hear an Enderman. Anyway, so, hmm. And I might build this up right here just a touch, just to have a little place to stand on at least. And then this is all going to turn into sand because I want this to be sand at least. And we'll fix that guy later maybe. There we go. And we'll take that guy out once it grows. Um, hmm. Now what do we do? Now what do we do you say, right? Um, I need some way to stand up actually and... I need some oak wood planks and we're gonna stick this above water I said above water there we go and just to have a way around okay, there we go got a way to stand up now take this guy out and we'll do the same thing over here think of it as an oak wood scaffolding okay that way I don't screw up the water too much Okay, so on the other side here, what I'm going to have to take out is I'm going to have to take out some of the fence posts. This one in particular. This one in particular. This one and the guy up top right there. And you're of course going to get stuck up there, aren't you? Come on, fence post. That's okay. Let's see if I can get it. Geronimo! Cannonball. Gotta love that. Okay, so what's gonna go in this place is there actually gonna be these oak blocks. Come on, up, up, up. There we go. So an oak oak block's gonna go here, an oak block's gonna go there. And if I can get there, an oak block's gonna go here, and can I reach this at all? An oak block's going right up there. Perfect. So that way it resembles the thing that spins right here. I'm gonna take these back. And then over on this side, actually, it's going to be a lot higher. Instead of the first one, we're going to do the second one. So it should be this one. And one, two, should be this one. And one, two, should be this one. And then instead of this one here, it's going to be, I think, the, the one that... Oh, it's actually this one. There we go. So I need to put that fence post back. Uh, I'm gonna have to get in the water then. Can I get under there? I can. Okay, perfect. So a oak block is going right, right on the bottom, right on the bottom. I say. There we go. Right on the bottom. And let's get myself out of the water. Yeah, the, the reason I did this in creative is so I didn't have this darn issue with trying to figure out how to make this with while still trying to float all around in water. So, now that I've got an idea of what I want it to look like, I can just find a way to put it together in survival mode. Which is also just going to be just as tricky, especially since I have to float around in water here. So let's, let's take a step back here, and I can't see anything. Let's go over on this side. Take a swim. Hop up here. Uh, yeah, that that's fine. There's gonna be one right there at the bottom. Yeah, that's gonna work out good. So now what we have to do is do the framework as well. And some of the framework is actually going underwater. This is why I dredged it out so far as I did. Um, I'm gonna need to go as high up as I can. And actually, this is where I would be more than happy to use some dirt here. So hmm, that's gonna be step up. So let's just use this. Oops, wrong material use this and go up this and we'll go up in a second and then we're gonna go inwards a little ways and go up in one more at least and go up that way we can at least reach this height here so what we're going to do here is we're gonna go one two and we're gonna have to get the other one somehow make a jump oh I got it awesome so that's going to be the top of our, 
Wow, I fell right in. The top of our water wheel. And the way this is going to work is this is actually a radius 11 water wheel. So I printed out a convenient guide to help me waking a radius 11 water wheel. So what happened next is the next two blocks are actually underneath this one here. So the first one going to be down there and the next one going to be right underneath that. So we're going to put one of these here. Go down one. Go down another. And I'm going to fall in, aren't I? Um, hmm. Stick a piece of dirt right there. There we go. And then this one's going to go right here. And then we're going to go down another one. And we'll get rid of this one now. Because we don't need it. Go down. I don't have a way down. Lovely. Um, up, up, up. Yeah, I'm totally afraid the squids are going to mess with my water wheel. Because the mine carts themselves are actually going to be free floating. And if they do mess with it, I'm going to have a problem with that, and it's not going to be fun. Let's see. So, three, one, one. Or is it one straight down the line? Hang on. You know, I might have goofed something up. Um, I realized I made some changes to the way this looks. And I actually did something like... Get this guy. Come on. Oh, I want to reach that spot right there. Let me reach that wood. Oops. Well, sure. There we go. I did something like a three wide at the top as opposed to a five wide at the top. So let me check this out in just a second. I'm going to have to get some more wood. I don't have a crafting table. Why didn't I bring a crafting table? Stick a crafting table here. And then I, I need the wood there. The wood fine that way. Oh, hello. Welcome, tree. You came just in time. Just when I needed you. One, two, three. See, yeah, yeah, there's something wrong with this. Okay. Because the wood is actually supposed to pop out right here. So this is actually the other end of the wood. So it goes up one and then it goes down one down here. And this is actually in the wrong place. That may be in the right place, though. Get me out of the water. And it's getting dark on me. Wow. Take a nap. Can't take a nap. Okay. Yeah, this is where it's going to get tricky in doing this survival mode. I think this goes up another two. And then it goes, oh, okay, there we go. I got it back. Okay, hang on. Let me go take a nap here before monsters start spawning on me. Yeah, I think what I did is I did a 11 wide water wheel, but then I shrank it by one up there and then I ended up doing the same setup as I would have done for a 12 wide water wheel which is the this is why I've got two here and this is why I've got two there and then it goes down three and so because the 12 wide would have gone down a fourth one but I ended up doing this based on a, a combination of 11 and 12 so let's see if this oops so oh, okay let's see if this idea works Okay, so let's go on the other side of the river. Ow, I'm gonna need food. I'm gonna need more food. Let's go on the other side of the river and take a look here for a second. Yeah, it's not too bad, right? It does look funky, I see that. So let's think about this. Should I turn this into a 12 wide water wheel? If I do, I'm going to have to add in at least one more piece at the top and everything's going to get shifted over just a little bit. If I keep it 11 wide, I just got to change a couple things just to get the circular shape to come back. And that's actually going down four and over one, two, three, four, five. Going over five and going down five. If I do a 10 wide water wheel, it's four. Nine wide water wheel is five again. If 
By the time I get to seven wide water wheel, it's gonna be something like a um, three wide water wheel, which is what I was trying to aim for, right? Um, hmm, let me put this on pause. Okay guys, I fixed it. So part of the reason I had problem with this is because in my creative world, when I did this, I took out some blocks and mostly what I took out are the blocks up there in the corners here. So it really was five. It really was five across here and it really was five there. I just had to take some out to fit the minecarts. So for example, there's going to be a minecart in the center. There's going to be one, essentially one minecart somewhere around here and another one. It's going to be like here, 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 and then it's going to skip one there. It's going to go here and then skip another one. It's going to go there and so on and so on until it comes back around to the top. So I did this back at 11 wide again. So it's now an 11 wide water wheel again. The sun's setting. So we're going to leave this at 11 wide for the time being. And I also messed up the prototype too. That's also the other issue. Can I sleep yet? Awesome. So what I'm going to do need to do now is I, I'm going to need more sticks than 23. I don't think 23 fences are going to do it for me. And I'm also going to have to take down this scaffolding here. I know there's some random blocks in here. I, I remember dropping them. There, here they are. Pick that up. And we should do the fence posts maybe on this side first. Might be easier to work with. I don't know. Just because I've got a little bit of scaffolding here to work with. So what I want to do is I want to connect these fence posts somehow to this area. So one's going to go there. Another one's going to go here. We're going to go out to the left. Out to the left again. And then we're going to hopefully, let's see if I can make that one. And then two. There we go. So that's going to connect there. And I almost, almost want one to connect there. But I, I will see what I can do with this. Um, hmm. I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. However, the bottom is going to be a little bit trickier because the bottom doesn't really go anywhere. Oops. Actually, I may want that one. For the time being, I want it back. Come back, my fence post. Yeah, there's going to be a few, few spots for the fence post to hold things up. So here. It's going to match that. Go one more this way. And then technically, that's where it goes down. And then there will be a fence post here. That where it would actually connect to. And so there's be this gap here on purpose. Hmm. Yeah, because this is going to go straight down and connect to that one. Oh, oh wait, I don't need this one. Sorry. I don't need that either. Get that block back. Yeah, it's actually going to go right here, the fence post, and then another fence post would go down there. So it's actually just going to overhang by, what is it, two fence posts. We're going to do the same thing over here. One and two. And then I think all that dirt is in my way. And so is the wood. Okay, so we're going to have to do the same thing over here. One. And we're going to need to go up one now. Oh, really? Come on. And then we're going to need to go over this away a little way. And the leaves of that tree is going to be in my way now. Actually, wait, nope. It's not going to be in the way. All I got to do, there it goes, perfect. Got it. And let's do the same thing to the other side real quick. And we'll see what this looks like for a few minutes and I'll be right back. All right, so I've actually um, improved a bit on my prototype design because one of the issues I had was the way this would look when it was all said and done, especially when I take this out. We'll see what that looks like on the bottom. So I actually made some changes, believe it or not, compared to the way I made the prototype in the creative. Um, so first off, I actually added these in and that was one of the changes I made to my original prototype version. And someone had done this actually with the smaller version on the other side, but I made the small version on that side and the big version on this side. I don't know, I just think it looks better that way. Um, second, I rearranged this. I actually, instead of cutting off certain pieces of the of the wheel, I actually just kept the whole thing going across and then I connected it down this way. And so that way the entire outside is connected and it connected by these, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six spokes, basically, and the seventh one is essentially underwater. And there's, again, what I showed with the fence post, I can't do anything about the ones underwater. And so that's why I'm not sure if this part here is going to look a little weird or not. Because if I can't use the fence post underwater because of the water mechanics, what can I do, right? So what I am going to do on this side is I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did on the other side. And that's going to be kind of tricky because I need to get up there first. I may need to make some more fence posts. So this is going to essentially connect all the way up there. And I'm just going to follow the pattern down this way. And it connects just like that, I believe. And then this is also going to go this way. And I put a fence post right there. This is going to go down here. And this is coming out this way, but this piece is going away. So it only comes out one because this right here would have followed the pattern on the other side, which would have went, actually would have followed pattern up here, which would have went this way, up, this way, up, basically. And this piece right here, I'm going to have to fix because that, this piece actually is right here. And so if you notice, there's a gap right here and underneath that gap would have been the pieces that would have went up and those would have went one there. And there would have been a piece right here too, representing that piece up a top. And so it would have went there, there, and then eventually going across the entire top down, or at least the entire bottom is what I'm trying to say. And so let's do the same thing over here. This is actually right. What do you know? I'm... Oh, no, it's not. One, two, yeah, it is. I just missed a piece right here, I guess. Oh, and I'm at a fence post. Nice. I think I have another one floating around underwater. Let's go see. Oh, I do. Look at that. Awesome. I think I just need one more, I think, right there. Yeah, and then I missed one right there. So let's see if I got another one underwater. Sometimes I do. Mm, nothing here. Nothing there. It looks like I grabbed them all. Let us make some more fences then. I've got some leftover wood. I'm also getting really, really hungry. I guess we'll just use up my wood. Come back. I need you. Okay, so what am I missing? I'm missing this piece right here. And I think that's it. The hole looks right, at least from the other side. It looks... Oops, come on. It looks right. Everything looks okay. So let's go take down the scaffolding and let's see what we've got. This, this is going to stay, actually, and this is going to stay. So I'm going to leave this side alone for now. This scaffolding got to go. So let's see what's underneath. There it goes. That's actually not too bad. That actually looks better than the prototype did. I like this. Yeah, I really, I really do. Now the question is, do I want to put fence... Oh my goodness. What in the world, Malice? What are you trying to do to me? Make us all dizzy? Gosh. Sometimes these, this, this computer likes to just, you know, do weird things and take my mouse and make it spin round and round and round like that. That's just crazy. You, you've got to go away. Yeah, I'm really afraid these squids are going to mess up my um, water wheel. However, if I make some running water, it may actually work to my benefit. Where's the rest of the dirt? I know there's more. Well, there should be more on this side, I think. Nope. I think I got everything. Yeah, I got everything. Awesome. Oh, no, I didn't. I missed one right there. I missed two, three, whatever it is. Okay. Yeah, so if I get this to be running water flowing this way, it may actually work out quite well because the water is going down into this cave and this is just, this is just honestly an amazing find right here. I mean, why not go, just go with this? And I could probably expand the water out a little ways and just have it go underwater, un underground. I'm going to explore the cave though. I want to know where, ow, I want to know where the cave goes. And... It's better just to explore the cave, find out where it goes, and then take the water and manipulate it for my means, I think, right? So let me eat. I am starving. I don't know how long this episode has been, but this is going to be a multi-episode thing. The reason I built the water wheel first is because I want to be able to have the shape and size of the water wheel. And then I'm going to essentially build the building around it. And the building, I want it to be a little bit smaller than the water wheel. Just because I don't need a giant sized building to go to a giant sized water wheel. I just want some perspectives here. And the water wheel, I want it to be essentially the main theme with the lumber mill. And the reason it goes underwater is because I want the theme to show that it's really going underwater. The challenge I've got now is making the minecarts because I only have so much iron I can work with and I'm going to need at least 120 pieces of iron. And I got some iron blocks, but I don't think that's going to be enough iron. So 
Let me see if I can pull her up here with some of the dirt. And I'm going to show you what I've got in mind here. Uh, can I make this jump? Oh, I just missed it. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was bad. That was just a bad deal. Try this again. Ah, oh, really? Well. Ah, uh, okay. I'm, I'm just... Don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. That's just a fail in times two, right? I feel like I'm getting less and less dirt every time I do this. Getting dark again, isn't it? Okay, I should be able to make it now. Okay, so now the trick here is going to be where do I put the minecarts? So, I do want one minecart to sit here. So, I'm going to have to take this wood block. It's going to have to go. This wood block is going to need to go. The next minecart is going to go here. Next one's going to go here. The next one's going to go there. I'm going to skip one, put one in the middle. Skip one, put one there. Minecart, minecart, which got to go so the minecart can sit on it. And then from here, because there's the minecart essentially sitting here, I believe it is. We're going to go down and stick a minecart there. We're going to go down. There's going to be a minecart here. There's going to be a minecart there. Minecart there. Skip minecart. And, it, and you know, you get the idea. And so the challenge here is I'm going to actually have to make this wood higher. And so all of the wood's going to go up by one. Because I'm going to put the minecart on a block on a rail. And that's where the abandoned mine shaft comes really in handy. So I've got a bunch of rail over there. And so we're going to have to go back in there and gather some rail. And then come back over here and finish up the water wheel. Um, I'm going to take my dirt back because I can use it. Yeah, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock out that single block. And I am going to essentially take down this guy. Be a good time to take, the, take down this guy. A big tree. I'm essentially going to essentially knock out the wood block, and in exchange, the minecart is going to fall onto the non-rail wood cart, and so that way you don't have to see the rail sitting on this. And it just it just it looks horrible when it had the rails on there. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to gather some some of the leaves here, and I'm going to keep this piece of wood here because now I've got some room. Take this out, and what's going to go in replacement will be this piece of wood right here. Awesome. And that's going to be my adder later. And this guy, what's wrong with you? You just don't grow. I don't think you fit there. Oh, well. I think I have this at four high, something like that. Yeah, I got a free piece of wood right over there. So I'm going to do this with the other areas. Um, I'm just going to essentially clean out this area right here. I'm looking right now at going maybe... Maybe to about here. Let's just mark this off with some cobblestone. Right about, right about here somewhere. And this will be a pretty good size for a lumber mill. And so I might go out this way a little ways and just have it reach out to about here. I don't know. I'll see. So I'm going to do a little bit of the foundation work and cleanup work off camera. And I will see you guys probably in the next episode if I'm not already at that time. Let me go, let me go check that actually. Yeah, double check. So, so far I've got out of the water wheel here. It's going to be essentially two episodes I'll be working with so far at this point. Um, to build the actual lumber mill, that's probably going to be two more episodes. I really wouldn't be surprised. Um, so essentially, I might have like five episodes of just building things, which is fine. I don't mind. It'll be good. And we'll have a lumber mill here. And the reason I'm putting a lumber mill in so I can get some of the spruce wood out and get them, you know, sawed up, make them into furniture pieces, whatever. And it's essentially going to be a spruce forest lumber mill. I'll have to make one in the in the flower forest eventually. So we'll do that maybe later down the road. And then we're going to go back and do some cave exploration, maybe in this cave and there's another cave I found. I don't know. I think it's on the other side of this hill. It might even connect together. Who knows? We're going to do some more caving. And that'll be fun. See some creepers out there. And in the meantime, so I'll see you guys next time. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Yeah, I totally didn't see this coming. Right? I got all the way over there and I realized, hmm, I wonder if I put the torch on the wrong spot. And lucky me, I put the torch on the wrong spot. So actually, this has got to go... Right there. That way, that's actually the height that I wanted. Oops. So I'm going to go tear this down and start over again.